Hey everyone, so I'm here to give an update on my life as a fashion designer to just show my journey along the way. And guess where I'm at? I am pulling up to Bloomingdale's in Aventura. I decided to go ahead and try to get my foot in that door because guess what? I see more Ray Sunshine in that store in the future. I envision it every day. I think of it every day. So what other better way to get your brand in the store is to go work at the store. Go make some connections. Go see who you need to talk to. Go talk about who you are. So yeah, I, I landed a position as a cosmetic beauty advisor. Anywho, yeah, I'll be doing makeup. Anyway, so I am working for something called the Gift Squad. Whenever major cosmetic lines have gifting events, they call in the Gift Squad. So I come in, help out, and it works perfect because it's not a full-time commitment. I come in when they have their events. It works around my schedule as a fashion designer and also with my military time. It's perfect. And you also have the opportunity to make full-time hours if you want. It's very flexible, so I love it. Right now, I am going to be training with Lancome. Lancome. Um, and then they're going to have their first event. And then after that, I don't know who's going to have their next event. But it's a pretty cool job. Especially if you like playing in makeup all day, this is perfect. But I just felt this as a great opportunity to just go in and people ask who you are. What do you do? I'm a fashion designer. What better way to meet new people? And for example, on orientation, we had to go around and say our name, what we do, and just introduce ourselves briefly. And I introduced myself as a fashion designer. And bam, just like that, a couple people were interested in seeing my work. So I passed my tablet around to show my website. And I made a connection with one person in that room who has an art, uh, artist who needs a fashion designer just to help her create a new look for herself when she goes out to do her events. I mean, you just never know who you're going to run into. So I'm looking at this opportunity as a blessing because, um, yeah, I'm awesome at makeup. Yeah, so <laughs> it was nothing but God that got me in that door because that interview was very real it wasn't a normal interview they wanted to make sure you knew everything about makeup because you're gonna be working with all the different lines and I got in I'm happy and so from there I'm on a mission I'm not here to make this like an ultimate career it could be it's a great company but I'm on a mission and I'm always gonna condone, condone myself as a walking brand of Moray Sunshine and that's who I am so when you see me in Bloomingdale's know I am representing myself as a brand and I'm there for a mission and also to help the company with whatever they need you know I'm not gonna be like that but yeah anyway I'm excited and I'm about to go in so come along for the journey I'm new to this walking and vlogging thing it's about to rain the Florida hot as hell it's like always humid here anyway look moving down But I'm at the Aventura location. It's so nice in there. I never shopped in Bloomingdale's before because I don't have that type of money, but it's a beautiful store. Somewhere I definitely see myself shopping in the future, but just not right now. But you never know. Oh my gosh you guys I just had amazing training this is so much fun I get to play in makeup all day for a job can't get better than that but anyway it was cool I trained with Le Lancome <laughs> who says she doesn't need French you need French I remember taking five years of French and everybody's like you're never gonna need French you did need French now I had to use it but anyway I'm excited it was fun I'm glad I get to update you all on everything that I'm doing and going through with my journey now I'm just gonna get scheduled for my first day like I said I work different cosmetics lines as they have different events so I'm home 
and I just took the time as I drove back to reflect on how everything is going. You know, I had this grand plan of how I wanted everything to go. And I, I really believe that you bring on the energy that you want. So I want the energy to be in a department store. I just want to be in there. I don't care if it doesn't sell. I just want to get in there. It's like I, I die your need for me. It's like my ultimate dream. And to get into a department store based on a job that I um, know this much about, it's like it's happening. So these things can come true. It's just you have to put in the work to do it. You have to be consistent enough to do it. You got to go through the hardships to do it. But the things do happen. So yeah, this is my life as a fashion designer. Continue on with me through the journey. So much more to talk about. This is only the beginning. Talk to y'all later. Ciao.